Hello and welcome to my lecture on biostatistics. This is my sixth lecture and I will be going over attributable risk versus absolute risk reduction. Attributable risk. Let's go over this in words. It's used in prospective cohort studies. What are you calculating? You are calculating and assigning or attributing the blame of the outcome onto the exposure. How much of the outcome can you blame or attribute to the exposure? It's simply the difference between the risk of getting the disease between exposed and non-exposed. So we have the same two initial calculations that we did before for relative risk. Exposed disease over all exposed and non-exposed disease over all non-exposed. But instead of dividing one by two as we did in relative risk, we subtract one minus two. An example of attributable risk. So here's another word problem. Yay! In a small study of 500 patients, 300 are exposed to purple light. Of the exposed, 150 develop purple dots, and of the unexposed, 10 develop purple dots. So, attributable risk, 150 over 300. 150 exposed diseased people divided by 300 total exposed people minus 10 non-exposed but diseased people over 200 total unexposed because 500 minus 300 is 200 and you get 0.5 minus 0.05 or 0.45 as the attributable risk. So 45% or 0.45 is attributable to exposure to purple light. As for absolute risk reduction, we usually use that in clinical trials. It's a difference in risks between a control group and treated group. For example, a question that can be answered by this is how much did the treatment reduce the risk of getting the disease in question? So you are always comparing the risks between a treatment group and a control group. Because in the control group, you're just letting things be. So uh, an example word problem I have is in a randomized clinical control trial, um, in a randomized clinical trial, patients in the group treated with drug X have a 5% risk of developing disease versus 15% of the control group. So the absolute risk reduction is 0.15 for the 15% that developed a disease in the control group minus the 0.5 who developed a disease in the treatment group, and you get 0.10 or 10%. So the absolute risk reduction is 10%. And that's the end of this video. I hope this helped you. Please watch my other videos and also subscribe.